So how's it going guys? This video really meant a lot to me. It's been a long time since we've had like a full on air show here in Akron. I mean, we've had some planes coming out of here for a little, little setup or whatever. Like uh, you'll see the Globemaster in this video, big old cargo and troop transport uh, jet engine cargo plane. Uh, we've had that out here a few times and it's a massive plane. So we haven't had anything on this scale in Akron in a long time. So you can see my excitement in the video. If you want to see some cool planes stick around, it's a little bit longer. But um, there's some really cool stuff, and you don't want to miss the end whenever the A-10 Warthog comes out of nowhere. So thanks for watching, guys. It's right there. Now there's two guys down there, possibly on the clock, possibly on break, watching the show. Now they're going that way. Somebody in there. Let's see if we can make it out. That's the P-51 Mustang. Yeah, that's a Mustang. So what is up, guys? That's right. They're having an air show at the uh, Akron Fulton Airport. It's the first time they've done one in, like, easily 10 years or more. So we got some uh, we got some stunt planes right now, leaving some leaving some smoke around. That's cool. But what I'm really looking forward to is they got a big C-17 Globemaster down there, is what it appears to be. They usually bring that one out, and that thing is gnarly to see take off from this tiny runway. So it's kind of like our little personal airport here. There's no uh, no commercial flights out of here. I believe it's just uh, just small planes and stuff prop planes some private jets so let's get down here and see if these cops at the end of this uh road closure are gonna let me down there just ran into one of my buddies uh thrift store foam warrior on youtube that's pretty funny small world man uh, but yeah as we see we got some more planes taxiing the runway down there looks like four yeah this is literally legendary they have not done one of these at the akron fulton airport and like I want to say about 12, 13 years or so, or more. Uh, I'm 21, and I was definitely less than 10, so it was more than a decade ago. So I am extremely excited to get down there and try to film whatever's on the runway down there. At least we can see that big one. Everything down there is closed, like everything. So this is basically just a park to get into those buses and go to the event on the other side over there. Uh, you just kind of go out this way, go out, come around. The rubber bowl is right back there for anybody local. You, you already know where you are, but... <clears throat> excuse me so I figured we we're just gonna post up I have till about a little bit before 2 30 and I'm gonna leave and go back get ready for work so right there look at the rims on that van heck yeah bro wait a second what is up with all these these sick rides out here man dude I wonder what's in this thing Ohio base heads <laughs> Dude, that is pretty sick, though. That is pretty sick. Alright, so I'm literally going to stand over here. I figured it's not worth leaving. Yeah, this might be a longer video, so stick around with me, guys. This might be the best vantage point we're going to get. Because, I mean, we can see the whole runway. Um, they shouldn't make me leave this spot. I mean, everybody's standing over there. I don't know if I can go on the other side of the street, but that's fine with me. I'll stand over here by this cone or something. So yeah, this is Akron Fulton Airport. Right down there is actually the... Let me put my water down. We'll zoom in on it. Right there is like the BMX park and all that kind of stuff. The skate parks down there as well. Which, that's where I wanted to go because you can see the fence runs that way. I could have been right there and been a couple hundred yards from it. But, uh... Yeah, so this is Akron Fulton Airport. It's been here for a long time. So if I had to guess, that plane, I can't even see on my screen if I'm seeing him or not. That plane up there, if you can see it, I should probably turn my brightness up. That plane right there is most likely getting like aerial footage or something. If I had to guess, he's just kind of cruising around. But I figured I'd give a little bit of a look around over there. That little tower thing you can see, that's a Goodyear building. Um, right over there, you can see the haunted schoolhouse and laboratory. Uh, just all the way around a really cool area. I've always loved Akron a lot. You can see over there. 
uh, some more parking. There's like, an, that's actually a bar now, a white building. It used to be a White House chicken. And then there's uh, another bar next to that. But there's a restaurant over there. Bunch of cool stuff right here, right here in Akron. And if you go that way, you hit the freeway, you can take your way out to uh, Firestone Park or you can go up the hill over there, whatever. Um, yeah, definitely very cool. He's, he's just circling around. I'm assuming he's getting aerial footage, if I had to guess. So, all right, so this should be cool. I see that little squadron of planes there taking off. But again, apologies for like the crappy footage. I mean, I'm like pretty far away, but we're still getting the gist of what's going on here. Now I'm assuming these guys are gonna do some acrobatics, or they're gonna leave some smoke trails. They are very close together. All right, yeah, there we go. Totally dismissed all that, but that is sweet. They're a little bit louder. So they're going that direction. Hopefully they'll swing back around and go right over top of us. How cool would that be? Assuming they're going to link up and continue as a group. So cool. And the runway is just littered with the smoke. This smoked everybody out over there. Yeah, looks like they're gonna loop back around this direction. That's what I assumed. Yeah, they're literally going right over top of me. How cool is that, guys? Yeah, sweet, dude. Oh, and they just started the trail. Look how close together they are. That's incredible. Yeah, I mean, even if I don't see anything else today, jet-wise or anything like that, that is sweet. And I'm alright with that. Akron needs it, man. We haven't had an air show in years. That is so cool. I wish I'd have time to spend all day to, all day up here or down there. I'd probably pay to get in if I had all day, but... Gotta go to work. Gotta make that money, you know? Absolutely awesome. So close, it just looks like they're touching each other. And hey, shout out to this dude down here. Possibly on the clock, possibly on his break, just chilling. Just sitting there watching everything. A little glimpse of them when we first came in over an hour ago. Let to figure out how they funded this. Who came, who came up with it this year? It used to be the uh, the Maps Association. Definitely awesome.
I just happen to hear a, a plane above me. I look up and uh, we got paratroopers dropping in, letting smoke out. I'm really hoping I can see them. It's very bright out here today. I got them. What the heck, man? That's so cool. Now there's two guys down there, possibly on the clock, possibly on break, watching the show. And there comes that little plane, the paratrooper plane. Very cool. I'll tell you what, I need to see that a little bit closer. It almost resembles the P-51 Mustang. I don't think it's a Mustang. It's big, trust me. It's it's an older one for sure. You can tell by seeing the size of it. Going pretty quick. Goodness. Let's see if we can see him. There he is. Oh, he's gonna buzz the runway. Yeah, he is. All right, so maybe not a paid flight, because I doubt he'd be flying like that with somebody in there. Let's see if we can make it out. That's the P-51 Mustang. Yeah, that's a Mustang. Wow, I totally misidentified that from afar. Let's say, that thing's quick. It's definitely a fighter. That is awesome. P-51 Mustang. I got chills from that, man. That was sweet. Gosh, I love aviation. I'm trying to keep up with them. Can't even see my screen. I got him, I got him. I can see it now. There's a little speck on my screen. That's all he is. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy at least I got to see this. Those World War II fighters, they are big, dude. Like, compared to other, you know, smaller aircraft, I know that's a stupid way to say it, but bigger compared to smaller aircraft. That is a big plane, though. And I have seen P-51s in person on the ground. They are large. It's gonna be quiet so you can listen to this thing. Love that. We do barrel rolls and stuff. How cool is that? I was wondering because I saw him taxiing this way down to the end of the runway that direction. He, he took off this way. And he comes back around again. That thing is fast, dude. I can't get over that. It's been so long since I've seen air show, and I'm, I'm loving this, man. I gotta leave shortly, but man, this is awesome. Whoa. Maybe he'll come right over us. That's what I'm hoping for. He'll make a make a little pass over here real quick. having better quality on the old cameras. Zooming in doesn't do it justice. And he's not going that high when he's banking it like that. That's He knows what he's doing though.
Man, I wish I didn't work today. I'm going to miss the last half of this show. They're stepping it up for sure. And I actually just looked it up while standing here. The one up in Cleveland, which is on a massive scale, is on September 3rd through the 5th. So I'm definitely going to try to get up there for that. Um, you don't even have to pay to get in or anything. You can literally just park on like the, I think it's the East 9th Street Pier. We used to park there. I don't know if it's the Thunderbirds or the Blue Angels this year, but we'll have a good time either way. I'm definitely wanting to get up there to that. I keep checking my time here. I'm going to leave in like literally 10 minutes. There he comes again. There he goes, right over us. He came blasting in when he first made his introduction, man. He came... No wonder he went so far out because he was trying to gain that speed. And it looks like something is on fire over there somewhere. A lot of smoke coming up from over there. And it looks like he might shoot right this direction. Yeah, he turned back. And he's buzzing everybody in the crowd. Yeah, this is awesome. I wish I had known about this sooner, man. The way I knew was I saw little streamers and stuff like that when I went to work yesterday. And it looked like a, a Dauntless dive bomber. That's what it appeared to be flying around. It was big, just like the P-51 Mustang. You know, World War II planes are pretty large. So I knew something was going on. And then Ren's like, yeah, there's an air show going on. I'm like, you didn't tell me that? You know I love aviation. There he goes, cruising right overhead. Nice little way to say goodbye. I gotta leave, man. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you watched all the way through, that's even more awesome. Thank you for doing so. I wish I could have got some better footage. I'm sure I'll cut some stuff out of some little slow parts here or there but yeah apparently Akron has another air show we deserve this man we haven't had one in literally more than a decade and uh, it's very nostalgic for me because I can recall many many good memories as a kid he's got his landing gear down he's gonna land uh, many many good memories as a kid right here at this airport we used to go down that road by the skate park where apparently they have blocked off now and we would sit up on the hill by the rubber bowl and Watch everything coming in and out. They used to bring in some big planes back then too. C one thirties, B seventeens, stuff like that. It was it was great. So here he comes, he's coming in for a landing. That was a great show. I love seeing him zoom around. Too bad I can't hang out longer, but I can't be late to work, you know, it's my job's like a job. They won't let you be late, so my job's like a job. Put that on a shirt. Somebody. Crispy, where you at, bro? Put that on a shirt. And it looks like we got two fires burning over there now. Hopefully everything's okay with that. I don't know what's going on over there, but there he comes. Turning off the engines. That is so cool. Here comes the boss like, hey, Ben and Jerry, get back to work, man. What are you guys doing out here watching the freaking air show? Oh, hey. That was a cool little moment. He's flying sideways. Maybe he's joining Ben and Jerry for their break. It's another slacker caught on footage. No. Everybody's having a great time. Like I said, Akron really deserved this, man. We did. We haven't had anything like this in 10 years. I can say it a million times, but man, when you have something when you're a kid and then you don't have it, it's like it's gone and it comes back. Dude, it feels so good. Even though we didn't get to see the fighter jet zooming around, it's all right. I've always loved the stunt planes. 
And if you're wondering what's up with the buses, they are uh, shuttling people back and forth. Sick. Gotta love it, man. So I literally just got home and I could see the A-10 flying around. That is just my luck, man. I heard something. I heard it, it's behind the trees over there. Oh, there it is. Okay, so at least we'll get to see it a little bit. There it is. At least we'll get to see it a little bit, man. I'll rush to work. It's all right. I'll, I'll, you know, what, I don't know. <laughs> I got to see that thing a little bit at least. It's weird because the A-10 just went that way. And I think the P-51's up again. Not that they can't fly at the same time or anything, but... I wonder if they're going to be, like, uh, synchronized. Oh, uh, he's speeding up. They're going to they're gonna go together. Wow, I know this is, like, a very terrible angle and everything, but... Oh, yeah. This is going to be a little sneak peek for me because I want to go to the one in Cleveland really badly. I could have just stayed there for another 10 minutes. Oh, my goodness. It's going to come right here. There it is. Holy cow, guys. Oh my goodness. Yes, I actually got to see it. I'm so happy. Literally in my apartment's grass. <laughs> wow, he came zooming in, man. So that's the A-10 Warthog for anybody that does not know. Terrifying fighter jet. Absolutely deafening scary. Now retired, uh, F-35 has taken its position. Shout out to my neighbor who's asleep on his front porch right now. Let's go back up a little bit. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy I got to see it. I don't think it took off from here. I think it came from somewhere else because we would have heard that taken off, you know. Wow. I knew whenever Ren showed me the video what it was. Here I am. I'm so happy to be right next to the airport right now. Listen to that thing. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Front row seat. And this is not my first time seeing the A-10. I've seen it many times, but it does not ever get old. They're not the loudest fighter jet, that's for sure. They are very loud, but the F-18 is like deafening loud compared to this one. So there you go. Akron has had another awesome air show. I'm gonna have to rush around to make sure I get to work on time, but hey, it was worth being able to see this, this beast. Same with the P-51 and every other plane. It was awesome, but this thing is terrifying dude imagine being on like the opposite side no oh, he went low for that pass wow oh my goodness it's right here guys it's right there are you joking me it's right here <laughs> Oh my God. And so that's where our journey stopped that day. Uh, ran out of storage on the phone, but that's quite all right. We got to see the A-10 fly around for a little while after that. It sucks because the P-51 and the A-10 were synchronized uh, flying around together, which would have been great to get on camera, but I had to get ready for work and I was out of storage space. So I was kind of just admiring it. But um, 
yeah, they were both flying together. Very cool sight. Everybody was out in their yards watching. Everybody in my apartment complex was out in the uh, parking lot watching. So very cool. What a great day. Let me know in the comments if I should go to the one in Cleveland. It's about 40-something minutes away from me north. I might have to go up there and just park in the streets or something for a little while and try to get as close to the lake as I can and get some footage. So I'm out of here, guys. Uh, drop a comment, leave a like if you enjoyed, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, everybody.